In this video, I'll show you step by step how to get started with the email marketing software MailerLite. Here's what I'll be covering. How to set up a free account and go through the approval process of MailerLite. How to create a simple landing page. How to create simple text emails. How to automate your emails and make everything run on autopilot. And how to send out newsletter emails to your email subscribers. I leave timestamps to all of the steps down below in the description so you can jump around or come back to certain parts later on. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial that is designed so that you can set up your MailerLite account alongside watching this video. So the goal is, to have your account and also your email marketing system set up and running by the end of watching this video. So first we need to get started with an account on MailerLite and at the time of shooting this video you can use MailerLite for free as long as you stay below a thousand subscribers and below 12,000 emails per month. So the first step is to go to the description of this video and click on the first link that you find there. That will take you to the website of MailerLite where you can sign up for a free account. So do that now and we'll move on from there. Okay, so when you click on the first link in the description of the video, you get to this page, which is the page where you can sign up for a free account of MailerLite. So what we're gonna do is click on sign up free. Then we can get started with a free account by just entering some information. So the company or organization, for me, I'm just gonna type in my name here and then one of my email addresses and then a password and then I click create my account. All right, so now we're in our MailerLite account and the next thing that we need to do is complete our profile and then we need to request approval. Uh, the reason they need to approve you is because they don't want to have any spammers in their system. So they want to see if you're actually a legit person wanting to do like proper business and not just spam around the internet with your MailerLite account. So the next thing is to complete your profile. So, so just click on complete profile. Here again, just fill out all the information and um, I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna come back to the video when I have done that. So completing this form, we have to answer two questions. The first one is how do you collect subscribers? And what I just put in here is that I will give away a checklist or an ebook kind of as a lead magnet to grow my email list. And I think that's all they want to hear here. They just want to know what kind of method you try to, you will be using to grow your email list. So not, so just so that you don't do anything shady. Um, then the second question, what content do you plan to send out to your subscribers? And in my case, I just used my email list to send out um, newsletters to my list where I sent them to new YouTube videos that I publish. And that's exactly what I've put in here in this field. And um, again, for you, just put in whatever you will be sending out to your email subscribers and you should be fine. Then make sure to actually tick the I have read MailerLite's anti-spam policy and I agree. And then I would untick this, otherwise you will get some promotional emails from MailerLite. And then just tick the I'm not a robot button and click save. All right, so now we have completed our sign up and completed our profile. The next thing that we need to do is actually request approval so that they can check our account and make sure that we're actually a legit person. So we just click on request approval here. So on this page, you can actually type in your website in this field here and show them your business, which really helps you getting approved with MailerLite. But if you don't have a website, like for example, I don't have a website right now that is very active. So I've just put in my YouTube channel. So I just click on um, a different verification method and I choose, I don't have my own website. And then I have just put a link to my YouTube channel and then I've just typed in, I create tutorial videos for online marketing on YouTube. And then I click next. Okay, so now we have sent out our request to getting approved for sending out emails using MailerLite. And it takes a couple of minutes or last time I did the approval process, it took a couple of minutes until I was approved using MailerLite. So you shouldn't need to wait too long. But in the time we wait, we can actually start to build our landing pages and actually set up our emails. And then once we, are, we have everything set up, then we will be ready to send out emails because the approval process should be done by then. So we're gonna start to set everything up by creating a landing page, which will be a very simple website where we can send people to give us their email address in exchange for maybe a lead magnet like an ebook or um, a checklist. 
So for this example, in this tutorial, I'm gonna create a landing page where we give away a checklist and then people can give us the email address in exchange for that checklist. So to start creating our landing page, we go to the top here and click on sites. Then you have the possibility to create a landing page and a website. For what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the landing page builder. So we click on create and then we can give the landing page a name. It doesn't really matter what you name it. Um, I'm just gonna name it um, lead magnet checklist. So um, that's not what people will see, that's just for you so that you know um, whenever you have multiple landing pages, which landing page um, is for what type of lead magnet or what type of subscriber. So then we click on save and continue. So now we have to assign a group to our landing page and um, you have the possibility to have multiple groups for different audiences. So if you have subscribers that are, that are interested in photography and other subscribers that are interested in videography, you may wanna do two different groups and then um, use these segments to send them different kind of content so that you don't bother people um, with content that they're not interested in. But if you, as we have just created our account now, we only have one group here. So we're just gonna select this group, then click save and continue. All right, so now we see a couple of different templates that we can use. You can change the view here to 48, so you see all the different templates on one page. And um, they don't have the possibility to just use a blank template where we can just start from scratch. So you kind of have to choose one from there, but I'm gonna show you how to delete everything and start from scratch because that's what we're gonna do now in this video. I'm not gonna use any of these templates because we're gonna create something very simple. But if you like any of these templates, you can just go through there and then choose whatever is suitable for what you will be using. Now for, um, I'm just gonna use some random one because we're gonna delete everything anyway. So I'm just gonna use this one. And um, we have a preview here. So we can just click on use this template. And now we are in the landing page builder and you see that um, this is quite a large landing page compared to a simple one. So you can scroll down here and you can actually change everything on this template. You can change the text here. So if you click on this part, you can change everything on the right side. But, but again, as I said, for this video, I'm just gonna create a very simple landing page. So I'm gonna delete everything here. So how I do this is by going to actions on the top here and then I'm gonna click on remove content blocks. Then just to confirm that we want to remove everything, we have to type in remove into this bar here, into this field, remove. And so that we allow this one to remove everything. Now we are still left with the header and the footer. So you can either decide to keep the header and the footer um, to maybe add some some more links like social media links or your logo or something like that But for this video, we're not going to do that So I'm going to delete the header and the footer as well the way I do it is by go going to the top um, To the bottom right corner and click on cancel. It's a very it's very small at the bottom right corner So I click on cancel and then I go to settings on the top right and here we can decide if you want to include a page header or we, uh, and also a footer. So I don't want those, so I'm gonna just untick those. So we are left with a, with a blank canvas basically where we can start a landing page from scratch. So to start adding stuff to our landing page, we go to the right side and click on blocks. And that's where you want to um, pull everything into, inside of your canvas to, to build your landing page. And again, we're gonna build something very simple here. So I just want to have an image of my checklist that I'm gonna give away and then a simple sign up form. I'm just gonna um, look for that. And um, so what we're gonna use here is just a sign up form. So we go scroll down to forms and then we drag the sign up form in our canvas here. And so this is the basic layout and that's basically all I'm gonna use for this tutorial. It's just an image here and then some text and the, the field where they can enter their email address so that it will land in our email list. So now we want to change the image first. So what we do is we click on this image and uh, you, have to, you have to do all the changes on the right side. So to change it, just go to image, change, and then you can upload different images. 
I already have uploaded my image, which is the cover of my YouTube optimization checklist that I give away to my audience. So I'm just gonna tick this one and click select. And this will um, import this picture inside of my landing page. Now, I also wanna change the text here. So I wanted to say um, free. So to change it, I have actually have to go to the right side here, heading one and type in whatever I want to change it to. So I'm gonna just uh, name it free YouTube checklist. And then I can also change the text here on the bottom. And I'm just gonna say, um, use this checklist to rank your videos on YouTube. Now, obviously you wanna spend some more time to actually optimize your checklist for whatever you are giving away or for whatever your business is. But just for this tutorial, I'm gonna not spend too much time on it. I'm just gonna show you some features here um, of this landing page builder. Now, um, the way uh, you want, to, the thing is you want to also optimize everything for mobile. So I like to just um, put the text in the middle. So don't, I, I don't like it to be on the left side here because that will be, uh, will look a little bit um, not so good in the mobile version. So I make sure that everything is here in the middle so I can change it by clicking align and then align center. And now it's already aligned to center. So this looks fine right here. Um, let me just show you why I do this. So if I click on preview on the top here and then we can see how our landing page currently looks like on desktop and on mobile. So on desktop, it currently looks like this. And then if you click on mobile, it looks like this. And if I actually have the text on the left side, it will look kind of stupid. So that's why I always keep the text in the middle also on the desktop page. All right, so let's go back to our landing page builder. So I wanna change a couple of more things here. So um, if I want to send out personalized emails with the names of my subscribers, I also have to ask them for the name. Now I can do this by going on the sign up form here Basically, if you wanna change anything of this block, you just click on the, the pen here, and then on the right side, you can change everything. Um, so on the button, I actually wanna change the form. If you click on the form here, and then I go to add field, and then that will take me, uh, that will give me a new field. So we have email and name now. So I just drag the name on the top here and now they can actually enter their name as well, which allows me to personalize my emails a little bit more. So I'm gonna save this right here. And then I go back to the settings of this block. And um, I also wanna change the color of this subscribe button. I also wanna change the text. So to change the text of the subscribe button, again, I go to the right side and then I just change the button text on the bottom right here to um, download because that's a checklist they can download them and the button action uh, we just leave that on success page because that's the page where they get to after they have entered all the details here they get to the next page which we're going to edit in a moment again i click save and then again i want to change the color of this uh, of this button here and the way I do it is again by going on the block, clicking on the pen icon on the top here, and then going to settings. And that's where I can change all the different content settings. So um, if I wanna change the button, I just go to the call to action on the bottom and then click on the button here. And that's where you can change everything um, with the color and the font and all of that stuff. So I just wanna make it red. So I'm just gonna choose red here and that's exactly what I need. So I'm gonna click save. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. Obviously, you can play around a little bit more with everything, make it look even nicer, and you can add footers, headers, and more sections on the bottom here. But in my experience, like very simple looking landing pages turn to convert the best into new subscribers, so I just tend to just keep them simple. Now, the next thing um, we want to change is the success page. So again, when people um, enter their email address and their name here, they're gonna get to the next page, with, which is the so-called success page. And we can change to this page by going on the top here, and then we click on success page. And there's already some, some text on this page, um, so I'm just gonna change it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just wanted to say thank you, thank you. I'm gonna delete the second heading here, and I'm just gonna say they should check their inbox 
check your email inbox now because what I'm doing is when they enter their email address, um, there will be an automatic email that will be sent out. I'm gonna show you how to set everything up um, later in this tutorial and they will get uh, the checklist sent to them uh, via email. So that's why I'm telling them here to go check their email inbox. So that's all I'm gonna change on this side here and now I'm gonna click save. So again, just to check that everything looks co correctly, I'm gonna click on preview on the top here and I also wanna see that it looks very good on mobile because a lot of people nowadays are browsing um, with their mobile phone. So you wanna make sure you optimize it for mobile and for, um, for desktop. So this is what it looks like on desktop. And if you have the free version of uh, MailerLite, you always have that MailerLite logo on the bottom here. You can't really change that, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now um, on mobile, it looks good as well. Just the, the picture here and then free YouTube checklist, use the checklist to rank your videos on YouTube and then they can enter their details. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. So I can click save and publish. Okay, so now we just have to adjust some page settings after we have created our page here. And um, now the first thing is what domain you want to, to appear the page on. Now, if you don't have your own domain, um, you have the possibility to just use Mailer Lights domain, which is subscribepage.com and then just change the text here. But what I would suggest is that you actually use your own domain because it looks a lot more professional and you have a lot more options um, what you can name it. And I'm not gonna cover how to add your domain to MailerLite in this tutorial, because it really depends on what um, hosting or what um, domain provider, where you have gotten your domain, where you have registered your domain. So um, I'm gonna leave a link to another tutorial video of MailerLite's team, um, where they explain exactly how to add your domain to um, your MailerLite account. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the mail lights um, domain here, which is subscribepage.com. And I'm gonna change the text here to YouTube checklist. All right, so now I can also change the icon that it shows whenever somebody clicks on my, on my um, landing page. And that's what you see on the top here. So for mail light, it's, it's this, um, this uh, speaking bubble here. And what I'm gonna use is actually just the same picture that I've used also for my landing page, which is the cover of my checklist. So I'm gonna select this one. And that's what it will look like inside of the browser. It doesn't really matter um, too much, but um, if you can kind of brand yourself within everything, it really makes sense. So if you have a logo, just put in your logo here. Okay, so SEO settings, um, that's the page title is also what people will see on the top of the browser. So right now you see it's my name and then Melo Light. And when they are on your landing page, it will show whatever you put into this field. So for me, I'm just gonna put in free YouTube checklist. Now page keywords, it doesn't really matter because you don't want um, people to find your landing page through uh, search engines. Um, you're just gonna um, like drive traffic to it anyway, but you can put in whatever you want here. I'm just gonna put in YouTube checklist and that's fine like that. Then you can also put a page description, but um, it doesn't really matter. And uh, now you can index your page in the search engine or you can, or you, I mean, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna allow it. Now save and continue. Okay, so now our landing page is set up and you see here's our landing page and it is currently um, published because here it says unpublished and um, I have double opt-in off. What that means is um, if you want people to, to confirm that they actually want to be subscribed to your list, you have to turn this on. Now, I don't need this, I don't want this, so I'm just gonna turn this off so they don't need to actually um, confirm again that they actually want to be in the list. Um, if you want to have that, the advantage is that you don't get any um, people that are uh, sending in fake email addresses because uh, when they do, they can confirm their subscription. So you only have real email addresses that you um, that you send emails to. But I've I've done it uh, for a long time without double opt-in, and it works fine for me. So I'm just gonna not use the double opt-in. And one other thing, if it says publish somewhere around here, you need to actually click publish. 
so that you can actually find your landing page. So let's actually check how our landing page will look in the browser. So we just copy this one here. You just click um, copy or you just click on the copy URL here. And now let's paste it in our URL browser. And that's actually how our landing page is looking currently, which is very simple, very easy. And let's now check if it actually works. So I'm going to, just going to type in my name here and then an email address. So let's type in my email address to check if it actually will be put in our group. Now download. Okay, thank you. Check your email inbox now. Now let's check in our mail line account if we actually got a new email subscriber. So to check that we go to subscribers. Um, yeah, this is my account to subscribers on the top here and check and we see we have a new email subscriber and that's in the group in the only group that we have right now if you have multiple groups then um, you can check uh, the groups here uh, and you see what group that uh, contact got added to okay so now before we create our first email what we need to do is actually um, set up our branded email because with email marketing, you always want to use a branded email address with your own domain to send out emails. You don't want to use an email where it says um, like your name at gmail.com because the possibility of your emails getting into spam folder instead of the inbox are a lot higher if you just use a generic hotmail or gmail address. So you want to use your own domain to send out emails. And if you don't have your own domain yet, just um, to Google some tutorials about how to get your own domain. It's like $10 or something. It's not that much. And you basically, you, you, you actually need it um, if you want to be successful um, with doing email marketing and you want people to see your email. So just invest the $10 here and get your own domain and your own branded email. So how we connect our branded email to our um, MailerLite account. So the way we do that is by going to the top here on the right side where you see all your account options and we click on account settings. Now here you have some different tabs and what we're going to click on is def uh, default settings. Now here you can change the name that people see when they receive your emails. If you only want them to see your first name, just delete your last name and that's what they're going to see. For me, I'm just going to leave it like that. And now I already have added my, my branded email address, which is simon at learnpassiveincome.com. Um, but if you don't have that set up yet, what you want to do is actually type in your email address here. So for example, I have another email, which is I think contact at simongeorges.net. And when you just type in your branded email here, you want to verif you need to verify that email address so that MailerLite can send emails in behalf of your email address. Now we just click on send verification here and then what will happen is you will get an email from MailerLite um, verifying or wanting you to verify that this is in fact your email address and that they are allowed now to send email addresses um, in your name. So you want to click send verification and then go to your email inbox from your domain and, um, and verify your email address and then um, that's actually it. So I'm just going to put again my other email address that I've already verified here. And, and that's actually it. Now, another thing that you want to do actually is go to domains on the right of default settings. And then you want to authenticate your domain. Now, um, now we have only um, verified our email address with that domain, but you, what, what you also want to do is do the authentication. And, um, this this will help your deliverability which means that will increase your chances or decrease your chances in getting to the spam folder and with email marketing you want to do everything you can so that you can actually go into the inbox of your email subscribers that's very important so um, the process is not that simple it's not very hard but it's also not that simple so again um, i'm going to leave a tutorial in the in the description of this video um, how you can authenticate your domain because again it depends on what kind of hosting you have what kind of domain um, 
registrar, registrar you have. So I'm not gonna cover it here in this video, but just click on the video in the description and you will see a tutorial exactly about how to do this part here. Now, you can also do this once you have finished this tutorial. Okay, so that's everything we need to do to set up our branded email address. What we're gonna do now is actually set up our automation. So whenever somebody now goes to our landing page and gives us our email address, now we're gonna set up that there will be an automatic email sent out to every new email subscriber. And the way we do that is by going to the top and clicking on automation. Okay, so now we don't have any workflows yet, so we're just gonna click on create your first workflow. Okay, now we give our workflow a name, so I'm just gonna call it um, example workflow and we wanna select a trigger. So the trigger is whatever gets people on that workflow. So you can choose um, if they complete a, a specific form or if they join a specific group of, of your um, MailerLite account. So I'm just gonna use this one. I'm just gonna say whoever joins my group here, my email list is gonna be put on this workflow. So I only have one group here, so I'm just gonna uh, select this group right here. You also can repeat the workflow whenever somebody rejoins your group here. I'm not gonna do that because I don't see the, the reason why they would need to get those emails uh, twice. So I'm just gonna click on save right here. So now everybody that joins through our landing page will land in this part here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna send an immediate email to them, giving them my checklist. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign here and that's where I have four different possibilities. Again, I said I wanna send them an email, so I'm gonna click on email. Now, um, we don't already have set up an email yet and that's what, what we're gonna do now. So on the right side, you have all the options for the email and you can send, you can actually create the email right in your workflow um, builder here. So I'm just gonna name it, um, here's your free checklist that's the subject of the email and it's from me obviously i'm going to use this email address to send it from which we have just verified and now i'm just going to design email and that will take us to our email editor that we'll use to create our emails now you have some different um editors that you can use to create emails so there's this one which is more for a visual email with a lot of images um, what I tend to do is just create simple text emails because they look a lot more personal and um, it's a lot easier and you also have a higher chance of actually getting delivered into the inbox if you just use text. If you use too many images, then the chances are higher to actually end up in the spam folder. So what I'm gonna use for this tutorial is the rich text editor here on the left side. So I'm gonna click on choose and that will take us inside of the email editor. All right, so this um, is our basic layout here and you already have some sample text on your canvas and there will be always kind of this divider here and on the bottom you'll, you'll have your name that you have um, signed up with and your address and then you always have to have the unsubscribe button at the bottom of your emails because that's kind of, you legally have to have that so that people can unsubscribe from your email list whenever they want. Um, some countries require you to put your address in the, on the bottom of every email, your company address. So just check uh, your local laws and everything and make sure you comply with them. Um, I'm just gonna lead it here. Uh, and now I'm just change this text to don't want to receive my emails anymore and then they have to the unsubscribe button if they wanna unsubscribe. Now don't worry if people unsubscribe, that's actually good because um, if people don't unsubscribe and they don't open your email addresses or your emails, then that will hurt your deliverability. So you wanna make sure that people actually unsubscribe if they don't wanna read your emails. So um, now you can actually start to write your email. So just for this tutorial, I'm gonna write something very quickly. So I'm just gonna say hello and I wanna make it personal, so what I'm gonna use is a token, and I wanna say like, if somebody named Peter is signing up for my email list, I wanna say, hello, Peter. And the way I do this is by going to the top here on this bar, and then on the right side, we have a variable, and we're gonna use this variable. Now, 
you have different options here. So I'm just going to use name because on my landing page, they can type, they can enter their name. So I know that this will then put the name of whoever, um, of whatever the name is of the person that signed up. So I'm just going to hello and I'm um, going to say thank you for signing up for my email newsletter. And then I'm going to, I'm going to give them the checklist that I've promised them. So here's the free checklist that I've promised you. And now I'm going to um, put actually a link to a Dropbox folder where I have put my checklist. So I'm going to say click here to download the, the checklist. Now to make this a link, I'm just going to highlight it and then I'm going to click on this link icon. Now you can just insert the link to your specific Google Drive folder or your Dropbox folder or wherever you host your lead magnet. So for me, um, I'm not going to look uh, what link this is. So I'm just going to uh, link it to dropbox.com. Uh, make sure this is the correct link to your lead magnet. Now I can say it should open in a new window, in a new tab. So I'm, um, I like this actually. So I'm going to click this one and the text I already, I want to leave it like that. Okay, so insert and now it is underlined and it's actually a hyperlink. So when people click on it, um, they will get to the Dropbox folder. Now again, I want to make it bold so it sticks out a little bit. You can also change the color here on this one, um, but I'm just going to leave it black for now. So um, again, I'm going to finish the email by saying, let me know if you have any questions at any point. And then I'm just going to say, um, Simon, and that's it. So again, I can just delete this one right here. Okay. So let's say that's email, that email is fine. Obviously you want to spend some more time on it, create actually a very, a very good looking email and don't copy what I'm writing here. Just write however you would write your emails because the more personal it is from you, the more people trust you, the more people build a relationship with you, which is very important in uh, marketing. Okay, so let's say this is my email, finished and done. Uh, I click on the top right here, done editing. Perfect, so now whenever somebody enters their email address on our landing page, then they will be sent this email right away. Now, um, obviously, if you wanna promote something, for example, you will keep sending them emails. And that's very cool here in the workflow feature that we can continue to actually automatically send them through a certain email workflow and we can continue to build out this workflow. So let's say um, I've sent this email, they have signed up and then I wanna wait a day and then send them the next email. So let's say I wanna give them some more tips and send them back to my, um, maybe back to my checklist. Um, another thing I wanna show you is you can actually uh, check if somebody opened the email and if they didn't open, you can resend the same email, but with a different title. So then um, you get some more leads maybe, or just people have missed your email, so it'll resend it. I'm gonna show you how we can do that. So you click on the plus sign here, and then you click on condition. And then on the right side, you can choose, um, you can choose, I think it's campaign activity. No, it's workflow activity. And then um, it's the activity on this email, the here's your free checklist. And then I'm gonna click on was opened. So every the, everybody who opened the email will go to the left side here and everybody who didn't open the email will go to the right side here. So for both, um, for both options here, I wanna put in the delay. So I just don't wanna send them something again immediately. So I wanna, do a delay of one day. And then on the right side, who didn't open, also delay of one day. Wait, um, days, wait one day. Okay, so now let's say um, everybody who did open the email, I wanna send the next email. So again, I do the same thing that I've did before, I'm gonna create a new email here. And here on the right side, I can create 
also a new email and maybe it's the same email that I've already sent them because I know they didn't open the email yet. Obviously, if that's a little bit too overwhelming for you with all the conditions, you can just delete everything here and just put in the delay, like wait a day and then and just create the next email. So um, wait a day, create a new email, wait a day, create a new email. And that's actually how you build out your entire workflow and you can build out your workflow for months or even years. Um, so whenever you get a new email subscriber, um, you will com continue to send out emails to your email subscriber. All right, cool. So what I'm going to show you next is how you can send individual emails to your entire list. So for example, if you have a new blog post or if you have a new um, YouTube video or product that you want to promote, you can just send one specific email to all your subscribers. So we're going to save our workflow here. I'm just going to delete that. So we only have one email in there. So I'm going to activate the workflow by going to the top right and, and going to on. Now the workflow is active and that's it. So we go back to our automation list here. Now I click on campaigns on the top left. Now um, I don't have any campaigns yet, obviously, so I'm going to click on create campaign. So here I can create my newsletter email. So let's say I'm just going to type in something really quickly. Hello. Um, and then it's from me and my email language English. Cool. Next. And here again, you have the different editors that you can use to create your email. I'm just going to use the rich text editor. Okay, here again, you want to just change your email, whatever it is. You want to promote your video, your blog post or whatever. And when you have done that, and what you can do is also send a, a test email to your own email address. So you see what it looks like. And when you have done that, you can click on done editing. And then you can decide what groups you want to send that email to and also schedule when that email should be sent. So I only have one group, so I'm just going to, um, I can also tick all active subscribers, then click on review and confirm, go to the next page here. And then um, you can also preview it again if you want, send a text, a test email. And then I click on next to schedule. Now you can send it right now or you can send it later. So you can s specify uh, a date and a time when you want it to be sent. So you can create it like a week in advance and then send it out when you are on holiday or something. Or you can also deliver based on specific time zones. So you want um, to, to send this email out at 8 p.m. for every subscriber. So for somebody who lives in New York, uh, and somebody who lives in Paris, you want both of them to get this email at let's say eight at let's say nine p.m. Uh, local time. So they will uh, check where the subscribers are actually from and then send it out based on on that time zone. And that's basically it. You click send and then the email will be sent. That's how you can send out email newsletters with MailerLite. Congratulations, you should now have your email marketing system up and running within MailerLite. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions whatsoever and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see more tutorials about email marketing and other topics as well about online marketing, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any updates. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.